Okay, so the actual question for today is from MuscleCar289, and they ask, what distrib distribution do you reckon for the new Linux user? I would recommend the same distribution that I currently use now for my day-to-day -day usage, the general-purpose newbie-friendly distribution that I think um, everyone should at least become somewhat familiar with is Linux Mint. Now, Linux Mint doesn't do everything right, but it does a lot of things right where most distributions go wrong. It's also popular enough that the support is reasonably widespread. I checked out the IRC channel uh, yesterday, and it's very much alive and well. There are three uh, IRC channels related to Linux Mint. They have Linux Mint sort of help and support, they have Linux Mint chat, and they have Linux uh, Pimp My Mint, I think is what the channel's called, which is sort of off-topic discussion. So you've got three sort of um, levels of seriousness in regards to their IRC channels. And uh, I was having a chat with uh, with them on there uh, yesterday, and it's it's a very, very uh, busy IRC channel. Uh, basically, you can also, you can almost gauge the Six, uh, the 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 quality of support that a Unix dis a Linux distribution can uh, offer by the um, busyness by the traffic in its IRC channel, um, and Linux Mint certainly holds true to that. So uh, yeah, I would check it out Linux Mint.com. One of the things I think Linux Mint do wrong, outright wrong, is that they have two flagship distributions without any clear distinction between the two. They have a Mate, or which most people will probably refer to as the Mate edition, and they have a Cinnamon edition. People new to Linux are not going to know what the difference between Mate and Cinnamon are. They just aren't. Um, there is some very short descriptions as to one, you know, the difference between one or the other, but they're really not enough. In fact, what you can do is you can scrap one of them and or put one of them as a secondary distribution, but you have one of them as your front and center uh, distribution. Cinnamon or Mate doesn't bother me, with, you know, one way or the other. I think Cinnamon being uh, it looks a little bit newer, but there's then again, Mate's not too bad either. Um, or or it could be XFCE, could be KDE. I don't care it just you know having two flagship distributions side by side with the distinction that newbies are just not going to care about because they're not they're not interested in trying out different desktop environments they want one that's probably reasonably familiar both are good at doing that one that's reasonably stable both are reasonably stable i hear that mate is more stable but i've not had problems with either of them and um yeah, and one that they can just install and get on with. One of the things I really like about Linux Mint is that it works out of the box. This is a really big important thing for me. Uh, the bundled software, so the software that comes with it as a distribution, is the type of software that people will use day to day um, and it comes very well equipped. It's not too difficult to install new software because Linux Mint brings its own installer. There are some improvements that could be made. My personal choice or my personal um, wish the improvement I would like to see made uh, would be I'd like to see that the, when the, the application was last updated like a change log maybe on the uh, Linux Mint installer but other than that it's uh, it's a really good installer it's kind of easy I'd like to see a little bit more polish go, go into it but I'm sure we'll see that over time anyway um, but yes when it comes to a distribution that you can install just out of the box uh, Linux Mint is really really good in regards to older machines maybe if you've got an old Windows XP box that you don't want gathering malware or or um, anything like that uh, I would recommend Lubuntu Ubuntu's lightweight counterpart which is surprisingly popular considering um, the LXDE is not the most well-known uh, desktop environment um, but Lubuntu available from Lubuntu dot net I want to say but it could be lubuntu.org of course I will link to the actual URL down in the description um, and I have installed that on my parents computer which was an old XP machine and they have had zero problems with it um, I've had to install Chrome outside of the repositories um, because it has decent flash support uh, which I think you'd have to do with both Mint and I think just about any distribution. Uh, the difference between Chrome and Chromium is, or the big noticeable difference, is that Chromium comes with an up-to-date version of Flash, whereas Chromium will use whatever is installed on the distribution. Um, Ubuntu has an option to install it on install. Uh, Linux Mint will come with it as standard, um, but uh, the versions of Flash that come in Ubuntu and Mint as part of that install process um, are not the most up-to-date version that's Adobe Flash 11 which to be fair is suitable for most people's needs and Adobe Flash is a dying product as it is at the moment um, and it is likely to be replaced by the HTML5 equivalent um, but that being said um, 
we are not at that time right now. So I would go with um, either Lubuntu for, for particularly older machines or just a, a Linux Mint distribution if you are on a machine that's, say, less than five years old. Um, thanks very much for the question. It's one that I get asked quite a lot, and I hope the answer wasn't too uh, meandering or complicated. Uh, of course, this being a Vader video, I'm going to be editing it significantly less because, again, of time commitments. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know down in the description below. Politics or uh, tech, I do not mind, of course, when I'll be answering non-tech uh, questions or making non-tech videos. They will be on my personal channel. Again, link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.